Hi guys, we have a new Selena Gomez song after a long time which is De Una Vez. Uh, so this song is pretty simple guys, we have no capo and it's in the chart shooting. We just have one chord progression mainly going throughout the whole song. It just changes a little bit for the last part of the song and I'm gonna show you each and everything going in the song guys. Believe me, this is one of the easiest songs which will just take you some 10-15 minutes to just master this one. So let's have a look at the chord shapes. Uh, first chord will be an A major which is mute open, second, second, second open. Then we have a D major 7 which is I'm just playing with that index finger bar. Mute, mute, open, second, second, second. Sounds beautiful. B minor which is mute, 2, 4, 4, 3, 2. If you're not able to play the B minor chord then try it to play from the D string which means it will be D4, G4, 3 on the B, high E string, 2nd fret. So it's now a close position chord but we don't have that bar so the top E and A string is muted. Uh, then we have a diminished chord and guess what, this is a B flat diminished. Which is played like this, I have my index finger on the A string 1st fret. This is a very easy chord guys but this shape is new to us. Uh, we have 2nd fret on the D, the 3rd fret on the G. 2nd fret on the B, high E string open and this shape I'm playing it like this, index, middle, pinky, then uh, ring, high E string open. And now if you go on, you can just uh, remove that pinky off and you can just make it a more easier version but still that will be a more appropriate version which had more uh, kind of diminished flavor to that. So alright, uh, we're just gonna go for one down stroke on each chord for the whole song so the chord progression will be an A major, 2, 3, 4, B minor, 2, 3, 4, A major, 2, 3, for then go to diminished. I will just play that for the whole song until we come to the last part. So just play that. One down stroke is enough. Easy diminished version. Go sound like this. And the last part, which we have the outro, which I call. We play this something like eight times. We have a D major seven, then we have a B minor, then an A, then a diminished. So it's the exact same thing, but we just replace that A major chord with the D major seven at the end. So we have two, three, four. Guys, that's basically everything for this song. If this video helps you out, I know you gonna be subscribing. Um, actually, moving a little bit fast because I have to go a lot of songs. So, guys, make sure to subscribe. Uh, also, drop me one of these, and I'll see you guys back in the next video. Till then, bye.